Hello, this is Peter with another video. Um, so today, as you can see, I'm doing an update on my tropical fruit trees that I recently got from Canarius. Uh, as you can see, not looking the best, some of them. Um, so yeah, the lemon zest mango is definitely looking the worst. I don't even think this can be saved, to be honest. Yeah, the stem there, if you can see the scion that's grafted on is very dried out at the top. So most likely um, it's gonna be dead. The rootstock may be survivable, I'm not sure. I'd have to uh, inspect the roots and see if I can uh, repot it into something um, a bit more um, aerated, better free draining, I guess. Um, so yeah, the other mango is not looking too bad, but I think it also needs to be repotted. Um, taken out of this mix it's in. Looks pretty much just like compost. Um, the other mango, which um, I was a little bit surprised about because it, it is in a, a more free draining mix. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's quite rocky. Lots of little tiny rocks in there. I'm guessing it's maybe some volcanic rock that was added into the mix. But yes, I thought it was going to be quite free draining, but yeah, definitely not so good. Um, and I don't, I don't think these tall pots are the best anyway for growing in. I want um, wider pots rather than tall, narrow pots like this. Uh, the lychee, um, yeah, the lychee's looking not fantastic either, but it is still holding on to some leaves. Um, it doesn't seem to have grown and it doesn't seem to have deteriorated much since the last update. Um, but yeah, I think I'll probably repot that as well, make sure the roots are okay. Star fruit, not looking good. Um, all the leaves are shriveling up, dropping off. There's a few buds which are still looking like they might be alive. Um, so I might be able to save this if I repot it soon. Um, but yeah, you can see it is a grafted tree here. So if this scion dies, I'll be left with just a rootstock. So I need to try and act as quickly as possible to save it. And then my uh, rose apple Syzygium jambo. So you can see the leaves are still nice and green, but they are flopping down, uh, most of them, which you can see is definitely suffering from some root issues as well. Um, I kind of thought this would end up happening. Um, I didn't want to repot them and bare root them straight away because I, I was worried I'd end up causing more problems doing that. And some of them seem to be in a fairly um, a fairly well drained mix, so at least I thought that um, was the case, but obviously it's not as good as I thought it was going to be. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get these repotted, um, see if I can save any of them. Yeah, the lemon zest mango I'm pretty sure is not going to make it, looking at it. But yeah, we'll come back once I've repotted them. Okay, so it took a lot longer than I originally planned, but I managed to get them all repotted. Um, so yeah, I just quickly go through the ones which I think are the worst affected. So when I checked the roots on the mango, the lemon zest mango, there was basically no healthy roots left. Um, so I don't think that's going to make it, unfortunately. Even this Gomera free mango didn't really have any healthy roots. Um, but the leaves look in better condition and hoping it might have a chance of uh, recovering. Um, I've repotted them all into a coconut husk and um, perlite mix, um, roughly 50 50 um, by volume. Um, so, yeah, I'm hoping this um, this will help them to recover. Um, but, yeah, I'm not too hopeful about the mangoes at the moment. So, the star fruit had pretty bad um, root issues as well. Um, I think it might be possible to um, revive it, although I'm a little bit worried that the scion might die. Um, I'd rather, you know, if, if possible, I want to keep the scion alive. Obviously, if the rootstock survives and the scion dies, then it's not going to be a carry um, carambola anymore. I was having a look to see if I could potentially graft some of these any of these branches onto one of my seedlings um, but the problem is the seedlings and these branches are both very small um, so for example like this one here uh, this shoot here looks healthy but 
it's going to be very, very thin, and it's going to be basically a micro graft, uh, which I've never attempted before. Um, so yeah, the same with this one here. This um, this shoot here still looks okay, um, but yeah, I'm just a bit worried that if this section dies down here and it's looking a bit of a funny colour, um, it could end up the whole top part um, dying off. Yeah, you might also realise I've planted it at a, an angle, and that's because it had a very deep root system, because uh, it was in a very um, tall pot, and I didn't have any pots um, deep enough to have them under the soil completely without uh, laying it on its at an angle like this. Um, so it's not ideal, um, but I'm hoping with a smaller volume in this pot here, um, it has a better chance of reviving and recovering and then if that happens I can then repot it when it gets um, a bit more growth into a, a larger container uh, but yeah just for getting it established again I want to keep it um, keep it in this smaller pot so yeah hopefully we'll be able to straighten that out if it comes back in slightly better news the early large red um, lychee um, had a very healthy looking root system um, the roots were very dry though, that most of the pots, I don't think there was any moisture really in any of them. Um, so even though they felt heavy, the pots, um, they were actually very dry. Um, so yeah, the, the roots had actually completely dried out on a lot of these, but after um, rinsing all the old um, material off um, and having them, you know, blasting them with water, I think it's helped to rehydrate them a little bit. So. Hopefully that one will do better now it's been replanted in this um, in this new mix. Um, and also this uh, Sazygium jambos or the um, rose apple, um, again had fairly healthy roots. It had some um, unhealthy ones as well, but it still had a few healthy roots on it. Um, and yeah, I'm hoping this will start to recover. It should. If it's taking quite well to the mix, it should start to push up these leaves over the next um, day or so. Um, and again, I had to plant it at an angle because it's a very deep um, root system. Uh, the pot I've put it in is bigger than I'd have liked to put it in. Um, but yeah, due to the size of it, I had to put it in that size pot and at an angle like that. And yeah, hopefully once that gets bigger as well, like the, uh, the star fruit, I'll be able to plant it in a bigger pot um, and straighten it up again. I didn't fancy cutting the tap roots off these plants. Because um, obviously, you know, I want to keep as much of the root system alive as possible. Okay, so... It's now been a few days, um, it's the 14th of August, um, so I think it's been about four days now. Um, so as you can see, um, the rose apple has actually perked up a bit. Um, so the bottom leaves in particular have um, come up a little bit. Some of these top leaves were um, damaged and don't seem to be going up anymore now. Uh, but yeah, the bottom leaves in particular are looking fairly good, um, so I think that one's going to be okay. Um, yeah, so the star fruit, carry star fruit, is dying. All this scion is completely dead. I've scratch tested it in different parts, and none of it is um, green, from what I can tell. It was green on the rootstock, so I'm hoping the rootstock will survive, but yeah, it looks like we've lost the uh, the grafted part. So that's unfortunate, but um, yeah, maybe at some point in the future, if I can keep the rootstock alive, I might be able to graft onto it again at some point. Um, so next is the, the lychee, um, the early large red, I think it is. Yeah, early large red, and this seems to be um, okay at the moment. The leaves are still um, upright and green, not drooping. Um, so yeah, I think the, the lychee's looking all right. And again, this one did have the best root system out of all of them. So yeah, I'm not surprised this one is looking um, reasonable. Just hoping it um, puts out some growth soon. The lemon zest mango is not looking good at all, as we mentioned earlier. 
Um, I don't think it's going to survive, or very unlikely to survive. Um, maybe the rootstock will survive, but I don't think the scion is going to survive. It's very dried out. Um, yeah, can't get it to focus, but yeah, it's completely dried out. The Gamera Free Mango wasn't looking too bad before I repotted it, but now it's actually looking worse. Um, all the leaves are drooping on it now. So yeah, I'm not sure if that's going to make it either. Um, but yeah, overall, um, not looking fantastic. Um, yeah, it looks like we might have the rose apple and the lychee still um, alive at the moment. Um, everything else is not looking too good. Um, we might have some root stocks that might come back at a later stage. Um, but yeah, um, a lot of the scions, especially on the star fruit and the mango, I don't think are going to make it. So yeah, if any of these sets put out any growth, I'll um, I'll do another update. Um, but yeah, there's not really much else I can do now because I've repotted them. All I can really do is just hope they uh, they take to the new mix. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I do future videos. And I'll uh, definitely keep you updated with how these progress. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.